Your music, your station, Maddie's 107.5, Cool FM, Pink, So What? Simon with you on your Sunday afternoon at 3.01. Faber Drive will be taking over the stage of the Mansion Nightclub downtown Batty later this evening. They're on tour with the new cities and the latency. And on the line, I believe we have the man behind the drive. Hey, Faber. Hey, Simon. How you doing, buddy? Awesome. How are you doing, Faber? Thanks for joining us. No problem, man. No problem. It's been a busy year for you guys. Brand new album, Can't Keep a Secret, doing very well with that. Yeah, yeah, it's going great, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, the fans, the fans are have been awesome. They uh, they pushed the video for our first single off, Can't Keep a Secret, to number one on Much Music. The new video we just filmed uh, two days ago, just before we flew out here to uh, Toronto, and uh, we did that in uh, Vancouver, B.C. And what's the concept behind that video? The theme of the video is kind of like... Uh, Disco bowling, and then and then it's about this guy who's a, who's a bit of a doucher, and he's cheating on his girl. Not a bit of a doucher, big doucher, but uh, <laughs> he's cheating on his girl, and then the girl ends up finding him out, and uh, she beats the crap out of him in this arcade game. It's pretty cool. We're pretty stoked. So you made a music video about the Tiger Woods story. Yeah, uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> what a guy. Yep, not, yep, definitely. Not a role model anymore. I'm no longer shaving with Gillette. Oh, good for you, man. Good for you. <laughs> Not only have you guys got a new album out, your fans helped you pick your new drummer. Tell me about that. Yeah, I mean, we just did, we did a we did a thing through MySpace. Uh, was basically myspace.com slash Faber Drive. We wanted we wanted a new drummer, and we were we were looking around the Vancouver area and couldn't find one, so we decided to hold the competition right across Canada. Uh, basically, got fans to send in or, or sorry, uh, drummers to send in videos of themselves playing Second Chance. Uh, we had to go, I think, through four rounds, and basically the drummer that we picked was, like, hands down the best drummer. He just, he played second chance so well. And we knew him, too, right? It was, like, one of those things uh. where you don't really know a person's personality, but we knew his personality from before we toured with him before. And so he was, uh, he was very, very cool. He was just one of those guys that was, like, super, super stoked about uh, being in Faber Drive and really wanted, you know, the possibility or the chance to be in. And he's from Ontario. Yeah, he's from Ontario, yeah. He's from uh, Peterborough. Good dude. Your first single, Get Up and Dance, huge success, went platinum. Uh, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Pierre Bouvier, lead singer of Simple Plan, was involved with that. So I've got two questions for you. All right. The <laughs> first one is, how did that come about? And the second question is, how did you get Pierre Bouvier to be involved in a song that's so freaking happy? <laughs> so That's so happy? <laughs> He, uh, basically what happened is we toured with them last year across Canada, um, and I, I was kind of bugging him the, the entire tour, you know, kind of saying, hey man, we should do some co-writing, we should do some co-writing, and he kept saying he would, he, but he was, he was pretty busy the entire tour, and finally, uh, he said, yeah man, let's do some right now, and so we sat down, it was like 10 minutes before they were going on stage, and I showed him a couple songs, and he was pretty excited about the songs that I showed him, and he was, uh, actually a pretty big fan of our first album too, so... After that, we just started, uh, we, we swapped numbers and became friends through email, and I sent him some song ideas, and then I sent him uh, Get Up and Dance, the, the raw demo idea, and he and he like, he like loved it. He sent me a message back. I was just like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe that, uh, you know, that you like it this much or whatever. And so he basically just said that he, he would change a couple of things in the song, a couple parts, and uh, and I said, cool, man, I'll totally change those parts. I, I think you're a cool guy, and you're obviously a smart songwriter and stuff, and It'd be cool to, you know, have you involved in the song. And so we did that, and um, that's how he got involved with the song. Well, anyone that can get Pierre Bouvier to stop sobbing and start dancing deserves respect in my books. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Hold tight for a second, Faber. When we come back, we'll get talking about your near-death experiences. Right now, it's When I'm With You, Faber Drive. Betty's 107.5 Cool FM. Saw you walk into... Your music, your station, Betty's 107.5 Cool FM. That was Faber Drive, When I'm With You. 309, Simon with you on your Sunday afternoon. And we're talking with Faber, lead singer of Faber Drive, who'll be taking the stage of the Mansion Nightclub downtown, Betty, alongside the new cities and the latency later this evening. Got some word in. There's already a lineup on Dunlop Street for that show. Big shout out to all of you waiting outside in the freezing cold. Now, Faber Drive's new album, Ken. Keep a secret. It's in stores now. It's awesome. And Faber, I'm a huge geek, so I always go through all the liner notes, and I noticed in your thank yous, 
You were very specific about why you were thanking God. You mentioned that you almost drowned and that you were in a minivan that almost flipped over. Yeah, no, that those are two different incidences. Uh, once I was swimming in a, in a lake called Cultus Lake out in, uh, it's out where we live, Vancouver area. And uh, we were swimming to the boy, like, which is the thing that floats in the water, way out in the water. And I swam to the first one, and then there was another one that we decided to swim to. And everybody kind of swam in front of me. There was, like, two people in front of me. And so I decided to swim to the next one. And then it started getting wavy in the water. And so I was swimming back to the shore. But as I was swimming, I was, like, choking on the water, and I was I was pretty much drowning. And I don't even know how I got back to shore, but I just all of a sudden kind of on the shore. Totally miracle to me. And, and the van thing was... Me and my brother were driving out uh, to get our checks when I was doing landscaping. And um, it was like an early morning, and, and I went to pass this guy. It was raining on my windshield. The weirdest thing was raining on my windshield, but the road was a sheet of ice, and I didn't know that. And so I went to pass this guy, and then as I went to turn back in my lane, my wheels wouldn't turn straight, so I went right off the side of the road. The van flipped over twice. Uh, the entire front end was smashed, and the, t- uh, the steering wheel was on the seat. The whole chair was bent right back, and I don't even know how I lived out of that one. My brother got me out of the van, and the ambulance came and stuff. And You know, just incidences like that make you kind of go, wait a second, you know, you know, I could have died here. You know, we're, life is, life is, you know, we, we got to, I, I just believe that life is short, and, well, it is short in, in reality, and, and we got to make the best of the time that when we're here. Sounds like God earned his place in your thank yous then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Faber, give us the truth. Are you going to be on the silver screen next year? Uh, yeah, you know what's funny about that is I honestly don't know how that got out. Uh, I was like a little background role uh, in in Tron, but I, I didn't, uh, there was no lead roles or anything. I don't know how that ever got out, but uh, I'm, I'm definitely not a lead role in the movie Tron. It's <laughs> still pretty awesome though, Tron the remake. Yeah, yeah, man, it's it's, it's pretty exciting. It was pretty cool seeing, uh, seeing some of the actors... Uh, you know, do do their roles and stuff. Jeff Bridges is one of the lead roles in the movie and he's an amazing guy, like, such a talented dude. Tonight, you're playing the Mansion Nightclub with the New Cities and the Latency. What can we expect from that show? Oh, you can expect to hear uh, a lot of the old songs, a lot of the new songs, an intense show. Uh, we're just pumped to come back to Barry, man. It's, it's, been, it's been so long. It's been too long. And uh, we're going to rock. We got, uh, I think we're going to pull out three people from the crowd that night uh, to do a little competition on stage. So it'll be quite entertaining. And, uh, yeah, man, we're pretty pumped. And uh, also you can check out our Twitter, too. We, we all you go, to my, go to our MySpace. All of us are on Twitter. You can do Twitter, like, all, the, all day long kind of thing. And you can check out updates and crazy antics and all that stuff. I'm following so, you on Twitter, Faber, but you don't tweet uh, back at me. What's that all about? What's your name? What's your name? Scottish guy. Twitter.com slash Scottish guy. Scottish guy? Yeah. <laughs> okay, man, I'll watch for you for sure. I haven't been able to last like three, four days because we've just been, the video was crazy. It was a two-day video shoot, lots of green screen stuff. And then we flew out. We were flying all day Toronto with lots of stopovers. It was snowing, windy. We barely (laughs) landed in Toronto because the the plane was all windy and shaking. And I asked the pilot after, I'm like, dude, when you're landing a plane and it's windy like that, are you like actually like holding on to the thing? Like going like, oh, I can't steer this thing. And he's like, uh, not usually, but this time I was. You always wonder, right? Are they up there just sipping coffee, pushing buttons, and the plane's like shaking all over the place? Or are they actually holding onto a wheel going, oh my gosh, this is crazy. I just get drunk till I pass out. I don't think about those things. <laughs> That's probably what I should be doing, too. Yeah. One last thing. Tell me a secret no one knows about the band. Oh, a secret no one knows about the band. Mm, uh, this is this is one. Uh, our drummer, uh, Stricko, Andrew Stricko, he used to play in a band with Sebastian Bach's brother. There you go. Faber, thank you so much. Rock out tonight at the Mansion Nightclub. Thanks, buddy. Scottish guy on Twitter. Yeah. All you, bro. <laughs> that was Faber, lead singer of Faber Drive. For more information on their show tonight, head to 1075coolfm.com. This is Get Up and Dance on Baddies Cool FM. 